Welcome to Film Study, an All-American podcast. Here is part two of our uh, of our series on breaking down Jordan and Layla from season four. Hope that you enjoy it. Stay tuned for the next part. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share all of those things. Hope you enjoy it. So they end that episode 16 and 17 he goes with her on this road trip to see Carrie and it's what was what did the percentage end up being being it was like what 80 20 80 20 it's 80 percent about you Layla 20 percent about me and you know people were um uh some people had a reaction I think to that line and they were like ha 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 80 80 percent but it shows how like they just cannot help but to support each other yeah like even and this is what we've been talking about right like even when one of them sort of needs more support at the moment like the other is going to find a way to say like hold on now (laughs) you also have some stuff you need to work on you also need to hear this advice you also need encouragement um and so i love that it was a that it was a give and take and so he helped her go see carrie pushed her to go see carrie on the san diego trip uh, and at the same time, she, because he's had, a, he's having a fight with Spencer. She helps him get back on the field and just like display his talent. <laughs> I just thought about her saying like, "Oh, you're, you're afraid of the the YMCA, YMCA <laughs> yes. All Stars." <laughs> with the hair tuck. Her, with she, the hair tuck she know how to get him she know how to she know how to in get your him. in your words kaya in your words kaya uh the jaw the jaw hair tuck <laughs> <laughs> that's his tuck <laughs> she doesn't tuck her hair for anybody else i'm sorry guys i'm done wait what <laughs> she doesn't have it's we ever seen Layla tuck her hair like that no no the lip bite the hair tuck she it belongs a completely to completely different person it belongs to jordan um <laughs> It does. It does. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. Go ahead. Listen. You're learning. You're learning some things. You're learning some things. Uh, so anyway, she has this conversation with Carrie. I wish I could get into this conversation, but we got so many other things to cover. Um, but gets the closer that closure that she needs, and they, you know, again after spending this entire day, I think it's like a three hour, two to three hour road trip or something to San Diego. Mm-hmm. To San Diego. So after spending the full day, after the day being extended, because they had to wait for Carrie in the first place, and after yep. playing flag football together, which, by the way, the flag football, so cute. So cute! <laughs> Layla, get the feet moving. Get the feet moving. The little call back to 201. Call back to 201. Um, <laughs> she called herself the best player. Sorry, I had to add that in. But anyway, she gets the closure that she needs. They decide to stay for a showing of 17 again, which is a show that they've watched as kids. So instead of going back to Beverly, they they stay another like- Nope, not enough hour time. Hour and a half. They needed more time. They needed more time and she needed time to say, you know, I owe you a thank you. I owe a lot of people an apology, she said, after the way that she's been acting uh, this past year, which for us is like this past season. And She's like, but to you, I owe a thank you for like not, essentially not giving up on me. <laughs> what did you was, say? It was never an option. Never. <laughs> Is that, that that's your reaction to that? It was never an option. <laughs> what about you, Kaya? To her, I owe you a thank you. Mm-hmm. You 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 already know that whole apologies thing. I was like, yeah. I have some issues with that. <laughs> yeah, <I didn't> <laughs> we both have some issues with the, with the we apology. We had issues with the apology part, but when she said, I owe you the thank you, I said, okay, you can give him that because right. he really worked for that thank you. I love And his, his face. His, his he was smiling at away at her. He did another double take call back to the cotillion. Even Did y'all see um, the double take? Wait, when was the double take? He, because he looked after she's, he was just like, "What? Why?" And he looked at her and looked at it again. And oh, okay. Now that you say the line, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
even before she gives him like the thank you, my man is just like, you've always been more than enough. I That right there had my heart. Yeah. I was like, they're literally just giving to each other in this moment. Like he's reassuring her, she's reassuring him. And I think her just like saying, thank you for, you know, not giving up on me. It, it even goes before this season here with all the times that he's been like in the background before and checking up on her before this season, you know, asking other people about her to make sure she's okay. Um, she's really seeing that my man's door is the one for her in this moment. Well, she's seen it before this, but now she's actually letting him know my man. It's really becoming just like more and more clear. Yeah. It's becoming more and more clear. Um, and I think like shifting into the next episode, this is like, I, it, it was already solidified, but, like, definitely when Simone came back, it was just, like, they <laughs> they are each other's person. Um, they are each other's person because when we find them in 18, uh, number one, he's going, trying to support her with Aaron, and we get the little, no, it looks good, you look handsome, oh, the Grammys. <laughs> You know that wasn't a Grammys outfit. Layla. It's definitely not like you ready for You're gold. the best dressed person on this show. You know that's not a Grammys outfit. What are you talking about? No. Hold on. You call her her best dress, though? <laughs> she is the best dress. She I, I, is. I feel like that's universally accepted. She is. 412 will forever be my fave look with those colors. Such, such an iconic look. That such is, iconic girl, look. the purple. <laughs> Love the purple. Love the purple. Um, so th- th- we're running through this. Simone surprises them both, um, and they tried to act like it was nothing. It was hilarious because I, looking at Layla's face in particular, when Simone's like, "Oh, did I interrupt something?" If you all have ever seen Get Out and the no 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 that like exactly was what Layla did <laughs> in that moment. She was like, "No no 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 you didn't." You didn't interrupt anything. <laughs> yes, you did. And they were lying. They were lying to themselves because they, <laughs> right? They were lying. Were to they lying? Because were they? Were they? That or they lied to everybody else. They could lie to everyone else but each other, girl. They knew. I said they were lying to themselves, not each other. I, were they, or they just lying to us? Not <laughs> true. They they were lying to us. They were lying to us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, especially, uh, she, you look good. You look, uh, you know, I have to say that one more time. <laughs> you look good. You look That's handsome. Yeah. Let me just, let me just uh, brush your collar one more time. Uh, though I the already collar was you. already down. The collar was already down. <laughs> he was drown, drowning himself in cologne. We've never seen Jordan put on cologne before. Nope. What is this? Um, so <laughs> anyway, all that happened. He uh, was with, he was with Simone. Jordan did not look excited. <laughs> to be showing Simone around campus. Can no. We just say that. <laughs> was not there. He was very upset that he missed the the breakfast with Aaron. Um and she was just like, "Oh, I'm sorry for interrupting your plans." And he was like, "Oh, oh no, blah 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 blah." <laughs> Only to come back to Layla and be like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I missed." <laughs> It was important too. Like, like she wasn't important. just there for a week. And she was like, "No, of course. Like Simone is important. Oh, you're important. You're you're more important. You're more important. <laughs> you're where I want to be." Don't just Simone this like that. Flew. He did not do it this like that. Y'all yes, no, he did. did. No, you're lying, that is, that Carmen. You're lying did. to yourself. Literally, Carmen. he may as well have said you're more important. No, he did. He said he you're important did. also. He I said no, no. I said no, no, no. I said he may as well have said you're more important. No. He was not worried about this year. She was literally Stop. there for a she, weekend. Exactly. A weekend, and he did not care. He flying from her. flying from Atlanta, he barely wanted to show her around so much Dipped. so that she commented Listen. on it. Yeah. So hey. hold up, so much so that she commented on it when they were doing it, and he didn't even. Here's the other thing that is crazy, right? After like complaint or not complaining, but also complaining and whining, right? Whining to Layla about this whole situation with Spencer and with Wade mm-hmm. for weeks almost, because it, it was at least a week since they took the trip. So like complaining to Layla for like a week, over a week about this whole situation, Simone talks about it for five minutes and he's just like, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, um, 
yeah he definitely uh, was why, couldn't wait to get back to figure out you know to get updates on um what happened at breakfast oh, girl <laughs> he was not worried about Simone at all <laughs> listen listen he, he did he did no he saw just that a girl. little bit he just said, a little bit just we're gonna say a little bit that is it the fact that he mm. left this girl knowing good and well that she was only there for a couple of days that mm. she came to see him only to see him for the I most like, part yes yeah, say hi to what happened what happened if she left him we don't know what happened Layla was more important period full stop you why do you think Layla wasn't more important Carmen what because somebody got to fight for Simone somebody got to fight for <laughs> no nobody needs to fight for Simone yes I would say that he, it, she was important now was he still you know concerned with what's going on with Layla well, oh yes. I'm not saying that she wasn't important I think I'm saying that she that Layla was more important to Jordan in that moment. Well, it, probably because like she was at, on the one really going through something. What's was it going through nothing? So he wasn't sure she was good. That's all. And that's 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 totally okay. But I just think that okay, um, I'm stop. Let me stop. It hurt in my head to to, to lie. But um, I can't I can't be the one to defend Simone. Somebody has got to do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you said yeah. I can't be the one to defend Simone. I can't lie. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carmen. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's always one of us that's moving. Like, so I feel like I had to be one. No, I can't. I can't no. do this. I, no, but you in don't this try instance, there were, you know I love Simone down. You know I love Simone down. I, but I love Simone. That's why it's yeah, weird. It, but it, because it's the truth is that Layla was more important. Otherwise, he wouldn't have literally. Because, and this is, again, something that Kai and I talk about. Uh, the well, fact sorry, I'm not Jordan, a part, I'm not allowed with her in Kaya Club. You hear the show? Oh don't God. even call me. Stop. Don't even. Stop. This is something me and Kaya talk about. Okay, just catch me up, bitch. Stop. <laughs> you might have heard this as well. I don't. We have so many conversations amongst the three of us. I don't know if you were there for this specific conversation, but it it was the fact that Jordan literally waited because Simone, as you remember, was laughing and kikiing with. Uh, Layla and Olivia and 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 Jen uh, at the Baker House at the Baker House when she was visiting and this was after he had shown her around campus and all that stuff and Jordan came after Simone was gone <laughs> he waited he waited <laughs> until Simone was gone made sure she was out and then, like, didn't even, like, number one, the what was the first thing out of his mouth is just like, oh, are those more apology letters? Like, I need to, yes! like, just every, like, it wasn't even just the, the breakfast with Aaron, right? He was just like, I haven't seen you. And this is why it's so sick, right? I haven't seen you in, like, three hours. Or is, <laughs> okay, how's the apology letters coming? Uh, how was breakfast? Yo. Literally, he gave someone, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> Literally. He spent an hour with Simone, was like, I don't want to talk about Wade. I don't want to talk about Spencer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he was okay, like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And then my okay, girl just bent her Layla. eyes and was like. Hold on, not even that yet. Not even that. Okay, Layla. So uh, do we like Erin? Are we slashing her tires? <laughs> he was ready. He had a knife in his backpack. What we doing? Yeah. Oh, he was ready. He had the uh, knife in the back pocket. And, you know, even though she did say, like, Simone, Simone's more important, and he was just like, yeah, but you're important, too. Then she she uh, was just like, yeah, I didn't need you there, which I think that she, obviously, she didn't need him, but I think that she wanted him there, but she was just mm -hmm. trying to put on a, put on a brave she was on face. Front. Yeah, she was putting on a front. She was putting on a front. Um, and, you know, she then sort of just immediately hard, hard transitioned to um you know who does need your help though love that transition mm. Spencer James. spencer's uh spencer's apparel launch yeah yeah with the uh, eyes simone, the eyes. <laughs> simone seems to think that you're not going so mm. even her choice of words there seems her, seems to think seems. She she may as well, and again, this is me putting my own twist on it. But she may as well have said, "Simone thinks you're not going, but you are going." But you're I'm going. To tell I'm you. definitely going. I will see you, you later. <laughs> Let me know what you're wearing. 
Yeah. 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 But she needed him to verify it, though. She was like, is this, is this what a lot of you letting people leave, you know? Oh, my gosh. She was so like, yeah, she don't want to leave. you're going. <laughs> Literally. And that's basically what she said. <laughs> she said, Jordan, if I can go you can with go. everything that's happened, you can go. <laughs> Set the drama aside Listen. for one night. For one night? Uh, let's, how quick? How, what did he say? Okay. Pretty. Hold up. Pretty, please. <laughs> Fine. Okay. 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 Unfair. Sure. Unfair. Okay. I'm down. <laughs> Like, dude, he this just little he had a whole thing lot. With your eyes. He had a whole. He, he had a whole lot of nose for Simone, boy. He didn't have no nose for Layla. Like, None. so many None. nose. None. H- hasn't heard of a no in his life. She has eyes. What's, what's the word? Her daddy ain't only one like getting eyes batted. Right. <laughs> daddy bats his eyes and gets blah blah yep. blah. Yeah. <laughs> Layla. Uh, Layla bats her eyes. Jordan just agrees with everything she says. Totally unfair. Mm-hmm. Totally could, unfair, Layla. Totally unfair. Yeah. <laughs> and it sounds like she's been running him since they was kids, though, so it's okay. <laughs> That's very true. She did She did kick him out of the sleepover for a <laughs> <Yes>. in, <laughs> in episode 17. My man crying. <laughs> crying. Crying. Uh, after, after he built it. <laughs> Literally, no. after he built it. Thank you for the labor. <laughs> <laughs> and like, here's the thing too. Here's the thing too, is that like, not only all of that, and we talk about how gone Jordan was at that moment. The fact that Layla proceeded to, after after doing the little pretty please, proceeded to watch this man walk away and fiddle mm-hmm. with her hands and fiddle with the letters. And we... We talk about Jordan doing double takes. The fact that she tur- craned her neck around. Mm. It looked uncomfortable, Layla, for you to turn that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> At least wait till the man is out the door. Oh, no, she had to watch him walk out the she door. She had to watch. And that's a, that's another theme that we'll be getting to. There she, she had to watch goes. him. <laughs> there he goes this time. Goes there he goes again. And here's the thing. Again, like. Y'all have just seen one of the. They really got comfortable on the San Diego. Yeah, trip. they got comfortable. They most definitely did. I mean, honestly, they've been they've been with each other the whole season. I don't know. I know why the group really realized that. Like, at least they didn't know it. They got the old stuff. Especially going the on. second half of the season. Especially the second half of the season. They've been together so much, and you know, uh, okay, Simone, who? I'm still gonna see you. <laughs> We don't care. <laughs> <laughs> because as soon as... And here's the thing. I, and I was talking about... Shout, <laughs> shout out to you, Bella. You you know who you are. Shout out to you, Bella, because we were talking about this. See, it's not just me and Carmen and Kaya talking. No. Because how sick of Layla. Because obviously Jordan and Simone walk in and she comes sort of immediately and says the pleading work. But we're ignoring the part that she literally said just what is it two hours ago um simone seems to think you're not going so she already knew that simone had asked him to go and that simone was making a big deal about wanting jordan to go and for the first (laughs) for the first thing that comes out of her mouth to be the pleading word (laughs) she don't care she had to let simone know i got him here my dad Play. says Simone no. says who cares no. he, what does Jordan say what am I saying to Jordan Listen, I already told you she, she, she pulled Simone to the side like you got two days make it happen end this <laughs> end it right now she had an expiration date Layla, Layla had an expiration date except for Jordan like by I'm the end of this weekend, <laughs> by the end of this weekend right I've she been, a plane ticket. Jordan, Jordan has been on loan to you I've let him be oh on loan to you and now Give him back. Oh my gosh. And, you know, give him back. And again, the pleading worked, which you know Simone thought that she finally got through to Jordan. But. Mm-hmm. Something and then, like Clay, then Clay could make it worse. So, ooh, he made it worse. Clay made it worse. <laughs> and this was after she said, Can I borrow Jordan's height over by the hat wall? Girl! <laughs> like, like she Jordan ain't the only tall person in here lately, girl. Exactly. She's not the only tall person. You know she you're said, being I'm disrespectful at this point. Ladder. 
You know your what, what? What was it, Kaya? Four hats that needed to be hung up. You know you can like reach four, on your girl. tippy toes. You, you know you can reach on your tippy toes for these four hats. Mm-hmm. Literally, I bet you someone was already over there putting them hats up, and she stopped them at the last four. <laughs> and she was just like, no, 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 this is not. A, exactly. You know she she had it. Just, hold up. Did this is Layla the planner. Away? This is Layla the planner who has already been setting up this whole entire event, and who like literally talked to Spencer about setting up for this whole entire event. Yep. And she literally stops someone to be like, oh, no, 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 I have someone. I have someone. For no, this no, guy. no, someone's going to finish it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> finish her. So ask to, borrow, uh, ask to borrow his height. Simone's just like, oh, you don't have to ask me. And that's what she did. <laughs> <She's> like, girl, <laughs> don't, don't get brand new on now. Simone, that's like, he was with me and still asking for him for you, so don't act like he got to ask me. Oh, my God. Right, right. Simone definitely felt away. We saw it, and Layla noticed it. Did we skip that um, I mean, I know that's homecoming, but I'm still count. No, we 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 mentioned it briefly that he was talk talking to her. Oh, okay. Um, and so, <laughs> borrows the height. They're over there cackling and giggling. She borrowed it, girl. Clay. Man, you keep to my height, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> The height came with him. She always trying, you know, she always trying to use correct term like oh boundaries, what boundaries? Why yeah. his height? Him. Go ahead. Him. <laughs> I get him. Uh, I just wanted to thank you um, for your friendship and uh, oh the the God. advice. Layla gets super professional when it comes to Jordan, and she doesn't know what to say. <laughs> it's basically what we're talking about. Um, but they're over there cackling and giggling until. Jordan's just like, uh, who, who invited Clay? <laughs> His eyes shot up here real quick. <laughs> right. And he, 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 he breathed when she said, you know, he's just part of the letters. Like, oh, okay. After he said, are, uh, are you getting back together with him? Why the first yes. question out of his mouth. So worried. After so who worried. Invited, he was so he worried. Needed, we he needed like, to no. know. We needed to know. <laughs> Holy. Me and Jordan. We need to know. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> And so she, she, I don't even think she noticed or like that it dawned on her what he was asking. She was like, oh, no, no, no. It's just like, oh, no. Nah. Just the apology. Um, so anyway, again, la- laughing, giggling, Simone, Clay have a whole conversation about how the people that they had been involved with in varying degrees uh, were now <clears throat> with each other. Um, what was it? My what did Clay say? Ugh, this man. Oh my! I had forms of persuasion and it worked yes. up until he showed up. No, they didn't. No, it didn't. It, it no, didn't. Definitely not. In fact, he's the only reason you had a chance in the first place because she was running from her feelings for you. <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. That part. That's a fact. <laughs> and so like, who lied to him? See, somebody said what happened. That's what happened when Layla entertained. And he got, he thought it was him. He thought it was him. He, That's he, what happens he, when you butt hurt, man. Clay Relax. thought that he was him, and really Jordan is him. <laughs> he thought he was him. Oh, but um, he realized it though. He realized later. By now, he, he knew. He, by this episode, he, he knew. By this episode, he was well aware. Mm. Um, especially given the fact that he ripped up her apology letter right in her face that she gave him. Um, but here's the thing: we've been talking about how like. They literally can't go just a couple of hours without seeing each other at this point in time. And they don't know what the word space means either. Because that does they're, not sitting exist with t- they're sitting at a table and... Simone who? <laughs> Simone who? Simone where? Yeah. Oh, Simone, you're here? Oh, you're there? When you flew in... <laughs> You could fit a whole entire yeah. another chair, another person in between Simone and Jordan, yeah. and Jordan and Layla were basically as close as you could get to being on top of one another with being like respectable. <laughs> their legs were, t- their knees were touching. They were very, very close. They were very, very close. What did y'all think about that? I, I need to check in with y'all thoughts on everything that's happening this episode. The whole time, I was like, Simone who? Like, (laughs) (laughs) yo, 
Yeah, there was no respect put on that girl's name because None. they were so lost in each other. They were so lost in each other. I was happy to see you. Wait, oh what? <laughs> I was happy to see that she had no respect put on her name. That she needed that. Oh, <laughs> stop, Carmen. No, just now I'm going to defend her. No, stop. Stop. Well, she needed well, some respect. You were just, just throwing a bus. And you want to go ahead and defend her. <laughs> Oh I am because I, because when I wasn't throwing her under the bus, I was stating facts in Kai's book. I was stating facts about and that the was fact. a bus that you rolled no over. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's not my fault that Jordan thought that Layla was more important. Okay, it's, and it, and it's, it's not my fault that change. when it's not it's not Jordan's fault that when Simone came to visit him, she he, she was too busy staring at David. So, oh my gosh, we're this is not about Simone and David though. <laughs> It's not. It's about Jordan and and um Simone. And it's and about episode. Jordan and Simone and, and the episode. And the episode. And after seeing what went down, Simone can we talk about the fact can we park here for a second? Can we talk about the fact that Simone couldn't even last twenty four hours? with seeing Jordan and Layla interact without saying something and without them breaking up. And to that point, yes, she had some things going on with Damon, as it made to be, but it really hit me, especially as I finished out the season and as I rewatched, is that Layla, in my opinion, was the reason. <laughs> As much as it was about like them growing into different people and all of that, oh yeah, great, great. They broke up because of Layla. Yeah. They might not oh, have well, blamed definitely. Layla. They might have not, not have blamed Layla, but they definitely broke up because of Layla because she saw mm -hmm. how they were interacting and this was such a point of immediate contention for them because as soon as she yep. said, What's going on with you and Layla? Jordan over here uh, jump. He's just like nothing. We're just friends. I didn't cheat on you. What? <laughs> if there's any sign of a guilty party, it's that they have oh, to come jump on. to. Come on. It, no, that's not what I'm saying. I said if there's any sign of a guilty party, it's that they have to jump to. I didn't cheat on you. No, no. He broke up with him. Yeah, nothing to do with Layla. Yeah, I do with her. I want to break up anyways. What? You you're yep. saying that their breakup had nothing to do with Layla? Not like not as far as like of course yes yeah, something going on with Layla but she was she was the relationship was already over and she just went ahead and just I'm agreeing it. with you I think that they had been on autopilot but I I'm not gonna say that their I I'm not gonna say that their breakup had nothing to do with Layla I think that Layla even though she wasn't the blame of their breakup and she wasn't the sole cause of they broke their breakup they broke up like the she was if you could like the catalyst of their breakup rather her and jordan's interactions but why but okay this is my thing right when it was flipped jordan's first response wasn't let's break up because they're and that's what i'm saying i and this is and this is a point of contention for our or we disagree on these points but i Jordan, um, or let me say, Damon and Simone didn't go as deep as Jordan and Layla. And this is what I'm saying. There was a depth to the way that Jordan and Layla were interacting um, that just was not there with Damon and Simone. I'm leaving alone. Y'all can go back and look at two other podcasts where we argue about that. We argue about this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right. But what did you think about that breakup, Kaya? <laughs> I am 100% in agreement with you. <laughs> Sorry, Carmen. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, y'all already have groups with that, so it's only okay. Because, oh look, only because Damon and Simone, they, they are nowhere near the level that Jordan and Layla are. Like, you can tell they have an, they feel an attraction towards each other. And that's something they were, well, Damon was trying to discover, like, like, more about it. Simone was trying to keep her relationship with Jordan going strong. But... For Jordan she? and Layla, I think with them, it went so much deeper. Their connection went so much deeper between the two of them. Not just beyond more than just the attraction that they felt for one another. But him being there for her, help, him helping her through everything that she had gone through. Damon and Simone haven't gone through anything serious with each other. You know, it's like, no. oh, I think she's cute. Oh, you know, I find him slightly attractive. I feel like a little spark there. 
and I only yeah, go to talk visit that because I have a relationship. I can talk, I can yeah. talk about my adoption. I can talk about my... That's basically um, it. But, like, right. she's not fully helping him. Yeah, she's on his little trip to go yeah. see his daddy or whatever. <laughs> like, a whole trip with, his, with Damien. A whole trip. Right. Yeah, but she wasn't and even I, doing a lot during you know, that trip. Like, <laughs> you think about where they went. Like, that was a very sensitive, um, you know... It was, but... Yeah. That. And he, it it yeah. was. Uh huh. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that they feelings are even on the level of Jordan. Let's know what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, Simone just straight break up. I just don't feel like it was because she felt like they were so deeper than him, her, and what's name. I feel like she just knew it was over, and it was kind of what she wanted anyways. I, I think that was a piece, but I do think yeah. the catalyst was because she, let's be honest, like she knew there was, she already felt a disconnect that she had been talking about, but they still held, held on. They still held on. And I think had it not been for her observing these interactions with Layla and seeing, seeing how close they were physically, seeing how close they were emotionally that she could tell uh that is what was the catalyst for their breakup otherwise i think that they would have tried to hold on for another couple weeks i, I think they would have stayed together like she would have flown out but this that is weekend with a boyfriend still like, well, I was holding on as long as she felt like it was on her end but the minute it was she spent something with jordan oh she went investigated and fuck out i don't think so because i think i, I don't I mean, yeah, she investigated. She, inve- but she wasn't even going to go, if we recall. Like, she wasn't even going to go. Her mama got her to go. Yeah, her, yeah, ma- right. her mama. So mama got her to go. do something. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, she wasn't. I, ge- I genuinely think that she didn't want. She took the to, opportunity. She didn't want to go, because I think that she wanted to hold. I think that she was scared of what she would be confronted with when she came, and she was confronted with what she. Thought she was going to be confronted. Uh-huh. I think it was. Wor- I honestly think. Inkling. I feel like. I think it was worse. I think it was worse than what she expected to be confronted with. To be honest with you. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And so, like I'm saying, I'm not. I'm not saying that Layla is the cause of the breakup. I think that their cause is that they don't. They don't fit. They don't. Uh, they didn't fit anymore. Or it was never really going to work. Ever. Right. Or I was just like, or really ever. But. What? Jordan ain't expect to come to campus to find them sleep together neither, but let's just leave alone. Let's oh just. My go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I've been talking about this for days. That's why I said we already got two we podcasts get... when we found on this. <laughs> we do. I'm just going to. I. Yes. You know our thoughts. You know that Kai and I do think that Layla is a, a Wait. catalyst for their breakup. <laughs> Carmen thinks that she would have just broken up regardless. No, I didn't say that. Wait, Carmen, do you think if she went that weekend and she hadn't seen him and Jordan, him and Layla together, do you think they would have still broken up because they were growing apart and because of what she had building with Damon? No, because she wouldn't have had no no reasons. She was still needed. So Layla, you're agreeing. No, it wasn't Layla. It was the fact that it was something now she can just say it wasn't just her. So now she can say You don't think it was Layla? You don't, nah. but, okay, here's the thing. It, okay, well, now we got to go back on this point because. No, we're not. Can I answer this last point? <laughs> go ahead. Is that I personally think, here's why I think that's wrong, is because the, the passion with which she said, uh, no, she's been best friends with Liv. I knew that was the line you were going to say, yes. <laughs> So it, I, I can't say that it would, like, she would find him with any other girl and she would be just as bothered. No, it's that, like, literally, she, again, she witnessed the emotional and, 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 and at that time, physical, our space conversation, um, connection. And I think that's what, that's what, that's what's in our apple. Anyway, they broke up. <laughs> they broke up. As they should have. As they should have. And when we see Jordan... Uh, when we see Jordan next, and actually Jordan and Layla next. Oh, wait, I can't skip past this. Jordan the bro. cried. <laughs> the bro. <laughs> Jordan cried on, on uh, Spencer's shoulder. Uh, one thing that uh, Simone did help him do is, like, reconnect with Spencer. Or, no, you know why he was like... crying? Why? He said, I could finally go get my woman. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he set me disrespectful. Free, brother. No, he was mourning for everybody that says that Jordan didn't mourn his relationship. I nah, that he was mourned. mourned. <laughs> he oh, mourned. Why he mourned his mourned life. <laughs> Literally, it was just that moment right there, though. Y'all see it right there. Right there. I, next episode, he said, "I won't wait for." Forget that. No, it, was it wasn't even the next one. episode. It was, it was like, it was you know, just like Simone. They was waiting, waiting right up. Yes, finally, bye. Well, Layla. <laughs> but yeah, to that point, he did say, "I want Layla." But I yes, for did. that moment for the both of them, she didn't even notice that he nope. said, "I want Layla," because she was so Gone. lost in him. Gone. She noticed. You think she don't let lie, don't her? let Layla lie to you? She heard it. Why do you think she noticed? Cause she know, cause she noticed everything. She only watched one player. <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah. think you think she heard and it registered that he said, "I want." I don't know. I was just joking. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, he said it. They were lost in each other. They ended that. Um, I had to uh, quickly cut it off right there, but uh, <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this installment. Stay tuned for the next one. I think we have about like two more, two more parts coming your way.